If you're headed to Machu Picchu, you can't make it there without passing through the town of Aguas Calientes, or as it's sometimes called, Machu Picchu Pueblo. So in this video, we're walking through the top five things you need to do when visiting Aguas Calientes. Okay, so the first thing you need to do when visiting Aguas Calientes is to visit the hot springs. Given the unique climate near Machu Picchu, this area is surrounded by incredible naturally occurring thermal pools, and the locals have turned these into some of the most scenic places to take a dip on the planet. To get to the main hot springs, just simply follow the path that leads straight up the river. You'll pass tons of cool statues and a few signs to let you know you're on the right path. This path is well-maintained and walkable for most people of all ages. We just walked our way up to the hot springs. It was 20 solas to get in each, and it looks like you have to reserve with a time slot. It looks like the time slots are 90 minutes each. We made our way to the thermal baths here in Aguas Calientes oh. because no trip to Aguas Calientes is complete without taking a hot bath. Yeah, so if you don't know, Aguas Calientes translates to hot waters. I don't think I've ever been in hot springs with this scenic of a view behind me. The way it works is you pay 20 soles to get in, and then they have changing rooms where you can change and then you just drop your bag off for free for storage. They also have a system here where if you wave down a server, they'll bring you a drink right to your thermal bath. I don't think I need any alcohol. I'm still adjusting to the altitude here, but it is nice that you have that option. So two important things to note about these hot springs. The first is that towels are not included. Other thing to note is that we saw a couple bad reviews about this place, which we were pretty surprised about given how much we enjoyed these hot springs. We actually read into them and it seems to be people were complaining mostly about the time system. Definitely take a look at the times because you don't want to come mid session and have your time cut short. So it's really important to try to get here a couple minutes early. Definitely take that into account before you just come to the hot springs. We're leaving the hot springs feeling incredibly refreshed, definitely ready for a hike to Machu Picchu tomorrow. The next thing you need to do when visiting Aguas Calientes is to get your passport stamped with the official Machu Picchu stamp. Given the adventure you've had getting here, this is a fun and free activity to prove you made it to Machu Picchu. And you can find the place to stamp your passport right off of the main square to the right of the chapel in the square. Yeah, just look for, there's a sign that says I Peru and the ministry where they actually stamp your passports is right inside. You can't miss it. Yep, it was easy peasy. And we actually saw a line out the door last night whenever we walked by, but today we just got back from Machu Picchu, it's around 1.45 in the afternoon and there was nobody there. Next on our list of top things to do in Aguas Calientes is to visit the Artisanal Market. The Artisanal Market in Aguas Calientes is a massive sprawl of shops selling all sorts of Peruvian goodies. Given it's a labyrinth of vendors, it's a great place to check out if you're looking to do some shopping in the area or pick up a souvenir to document your time in Peru. Given its close proximity to the train station, it's also a great spot to pick up some last minute snacks before catching the long train ride back to Cusco. And if you're looking to pick up a Peruvian poncho to make your pictures in Machu Picchu that much more authentic, this is a great spot to pick one up. Another spot you'll need to see in Aguas Calientes is the town's main square called Manco Capac Plaza. The square is named after the founder of the Incan civilization with a statue of him standing tall in the center. And believe it or not, in the original version of the Emperor's New Groove, Emperor Cusco's original name before they changed it was supposed to be Manco Capac in honor of this great ruler. The central spot gives you some great photo ops of the city with the towering mountains in the background. With lots of benches, it's a great spot to relax and enjoy the city's energy before an exciting day in Machu Picchu. We are in the town square right now and it's really charming. Yeah, and it's kind of fun. They have a bunch of Inca statues. It just really sets the whole vibe of the town, which is fun. So one more thing I didn't quite comprehend about Aquas Calientes was how in the mountains it is. There's massive mountains that the camera just can't do it justice. So definitely make a point to come outside your hotel at night in Aguas Calientes. The city really comes alive in the views of the mountains, the sunset really puts them in a really nice light. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. It's a really fun adventure challenge. You know, everybody's here to see Machu Picchu and there's like that excitement buzzing in the air. And the fifth thing you need to do in Aguas Calientes is to take in the Peruvian and Incan culture. One of the best ways to do this is by walking along the river walk in the city and taking in all the beautiful statues that depict important people in Incan history. With the rushing of the river below and all the bridges, it's a really enjoyable spot to explore. So another nice thing about walking along the river is in addition to all the beautiful natural beauty here with the roar and water coming over the rocks. They've also carved a bunch of sculptures into the walkway as well. So it really makes a cool mix of nature and man-made beauty. And in addition to learning about this amazing culture with your eyes, the other great way to explore this culture is through taste. We made a video back in Cusco walking through some of the top Peruvian foods you need to try while in Peru. So be sure to check those out if you're interested in tasting some local delicacies. If you instead want to stick to more traditional foods before your Machu Picchu day, we grabbed a great pizza from the Taiwo Restaurant Cafe and some delicious vegetarian lasagna from Tao Dol Salado. We'd highly recommend them if you're in the area. So we have vegetarian lasagna. I'm actually not even sure how it's vegetarian because it kind of looks like there's some meat in there, but I don't even care because I'm so hungry. And this is amazing. It's also kind of fun that the trains are going by. You really feel like you're 
in the spirit of Aguascalientes. Oh, Courtney, did you get a friend for dinner? I think he's only my friend if I give him food. So am I. So those are the top five things you need to try out when you're visiting Aguas Calientes. Please like this video if you found it helpful and consider subscribing to our channel if you'd like to see more helpful travel content. We have a full video covering everything you need to know about planning a trip to Machu Picchu. And believe me, there's a lot to plan. So be sure to check that out. Let us know in the comments below if you have an upcoming trip to Peru and if there's any other questions we can answer for you. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.